What's going on YouTube? This is your friendly neighborhood DraftKings addict bringing my top picks for Thursday's main NBA DFS slate. All right, guys. So let's get the homework out the way. Please like, comment, subscribe to the videos. It really, really helps out the channel. And plus, I heard it brings good luck to you. All right. Um, follow me on Twitter. Link is in the description of the video. All right. If you followed me on Twitter today, you would have saw I gave out some candy, some nuggets. All right. So I, I, I tweeted out a couple lineups for you guys. So uh, one of them hit, uh, let me remember what it was, at 349. And the other one hit like 320. And one hit 280. And another one only had like 220, 230. So um, pretty good lineups, guys. Not sure what the cash line was in cash games because I only play GPP. But um, I was able to triple my money today. So a pretty good day on today's date. As you can see, Derrick Rose went off. Okay, guys, had a career day. All right, if you look over here, 50 points, 6 assists, 4 rebounds. And again, this lineup right here that I had, had 117 points before, uh, but only two players playing. That's crazy. So, anyway, we had that fire today, guys. So, let's go ahead and chop up tomorrow's slate, a.k.a. Thursday's slate. So, this is Draft Dash Boy, guys. 30-day trial, one buck. Link is in the description if you're interested. If not, hey, I'm not hurt. But let's move on. So, point guard, guys, top of the list is going to be West, Russell Westbrook. You know, he's a, a beast of a usage monster, man, you know. Uh, but he's playing in Charlotte, and uh, he's 10.7K. And to be honest, I, I'd rather spend my DraftKings dollar somewhere else uh, um, and, and save a little bit of money on point guard. But Russell Westbrook is always... Somebody you could consider, especially on a small, smaller slate like this slate, which is a six-game slate. So, you know, if he goes off of 70 points, uh, that could be, you know, make make a big difference, man. So, um, Dame Lillard, though, I like him at home versus uh, New Orleans on the back-to-back. -back. All right, but he is 9.9K, so I won't have a whole, whole lot of Dame Lillard, but he's definitely somebody we should consider uh, with him playing at home. Uh, ben Simmons also playing at home against uh, – the Clippers, all right, 9.6K. This guy does a little bit of everything. I believe he had a triple-double last game. So, um, you know, Ben Simmons is, is, is a beast, man. And so uh, it's a plus matchup versus the uh, Clippers. And so uh, let's go ahead and try him out, man. Again, 9.6K, I don't know if I'm going to pay up that much, man, to be honest. But um, my favorite guard on the slate is going to be uh, McCullum. You know, again, I don't know what it is about this guy, but I just he hadn't had his breakout game yet, man. But he's at home in a plus matchup versus the uh, New Orleans Pelicans. So uh, he's only 6.6K, man. But Jesus Christ, I need him to come on and break out. All right. So last time I recommend him, I believe he had he had 28 points. All right. So again, CJ McCullum. I like him, Mr. McCullum. Darren Fox, uh, he's a guy that we could definitely consider, but um, he's expected uh, to play Thursday against the Hawks, even though he has some lower back problems. Um, but he's up to, you know, he's 6.7K. He had 40 points a game before last and 35 a game before that, and he's averaging at least 30 minutes or more. And so he has a favorable matchup versus ATL. All right, one of the games that I have as my top favorite. So my favorite game is going to be Sacramento ATL with over and under of 231 points at the moment. The uh, Clippers and Philly game with 228.5 for the over and under. All right, the Denver-Cleveland game, which is 225 over and under. The New Orleans and Portland game, which uh, has yet to have a, a line come out yet. All right, so point guard. Also like Trey Young, again, in that Sacramento ATL game. I think that's going to be a DFS uh, gold mine personally. But, um, you know, Trey Young is somebody that we definitely have to consider because this guy can go off a uh, for 45, 50 DraftKings points if he gets hot. So um, I like him, and I believe he's playing at home. Yeah, in front of the home crowd. That always helps. Lou Williams, he's my value guy. I like him coming off the bench for the Clippers against Philly in a game, like I said, that has a pretty high over and under. I think it's the second or third largest one at the moment. And so I like Lou Williams come off that bench and um, provide some support for the uh, Clippers, as he always does when it comes to scoring. So as you can see, he's averaging around 30 DraftKings points almost. For the last three games, and he's only 5.5K coming off the bench, you know. So, Lou Williams he gets hot. He can put up 40 DraftKings points for you, man, in, in no time. Trust. I've seen him do it before. This Colton Sexton kid, 
I didn't uh, check him, but let me go ahead and add him to my watch list. I like him. Um, that team is uh, pretty much going through a rebuilding phase. Uh, that would be Cleveland. And uh, the young players are going to get more minutes. Uh, this game could possibly get out of hand for Cleveland, which means, again, the uh, the young cats uh, should get some extra runs. So I like Colton Sexton. He played 27 minutes last game, put up 33 DraftKings points, which would be great for a guy that's 4.6K. But I do like some Sexton too, man. So um, Tim Frazier, if you're interested, has a positive uh, history versus Portland all right, at 3.4K. But the only problem is, is he going to get any minutes? And I believe Everett Payton is due to be back um, on today's slate. So um, keep your eyes out on that. But, uh, yep, there you go. It's unclear if he's going to um, line up. But I read on, on Twitter that uh, he's supposedly supposed to be coming back. So um, that's all my guards at the moment, guys. So shooting guard. So you're going to see some of the same plays. But uh, definitely, um, you know, I'm going to go ahead and take Drew Holiday off. Uh, if Elf is back. I don't want any Drew Holiday. If Elf is still out, give me some Drew Holiday. That's how I'm going to go ahead and go with that one. Gary Harris in the plus matchup versus Cleveland. I like him. Consistent guy. 30 plus points for the most part. He only had 24 points. That was an off game. I call that an outlier. But Gary Harris is normally pretty consistent and reliable. So I like him at 7K versus this Cleveland team. That is trash versus shooting guard. And uh, he's 7, 7K. I like that. Buddy Hill. Come on, man. We got to get some Buddy Hill, man. This guy's playing 35-plus minutes the last few games, averaging 47 in the last two games, 47 DraftKings points. And he gets a plus matchup versus uh, Atlanta. So I like Buddy Hill. I think he's like my second favorite shooting guard with C.J. McCullum being my my favorite. And then Gary Harris, a close third. All right, so. Going down to the bottom of the barrel, um, some of my value plays I like. Again, we talked about Lou, sweet Lou. But J.J. Redick, how about the uh, the revenge narrative, right? He's playing against his old team. He used to play for the Clippers. So that could be an interesting game, right? And he's playing at home, though, so it's a little different, I guess, when he's playing in front of his home crowd instead of the old Clippers crowd. But I like some J.J. Redick anyway, man. All right. Phillies going to need all the help they need off the bench when it comes to scoring. Um, I like Rodney Hood. Rodney Hood is another guy that's came on lately and really stepped up since Kevin Love went out. He has 30-plus DraftKings points the last two games. All right, so I, I like to ride that positive flow that he got going there. And, again, um, they're at home in Cleveland, so Denver's coming to Cleveland. So I like him at 5.3K getting 30-plus minutes. I like his chances of uh, making value or even exceeding it. So, um Yep, that's pretty much it as far as the uh, shooting guards go. That's my top plays. Again, I'm not going to mention every play, guys. It's a six-game slate. But these are my favorite plays um, at each position. So, Ben Simmons, we already talked about him when we talked about the point guards. Paul George, eh, I, I like him. But, you know, does he put up 58 draft games points in this matchup? You know, versus a pretty good defense when it comes to the uh, Charlotte Hornets and their uh, forwards, man. So, I don't know if I'm going to get to Paul George because I like some other guys that's a little bit cheaper and I'm going to be spending up to either Ben Simmons or if, if not, I'm going to spend down at the small forward and uh, play up in other positions like the center. So, um, Miritic, I like him, man. He's in a plus matchup. Again, he has a positive history versus Portland. And uh, he's 7.5K in a game that's going to probably be a high over and under game. Right now, it's not out. Um, hopefully, a Anthony Davis is playing. If he's not playing, again, I like I like Miritic. All right, but Anthony Davis did have an elbow problem a couple of games ago, and, uh, you know, he played okay today, but who knows? They may sit him out. Who knows? But uh, keep an eye on the news. Gallinari, I like him again. I like this Cleve, uh, this uh, Philly uh, Clippers game, and he's 6.5K, playing 25 to 27 minutes a game and uh, averaging uh, just uh, just around 30 points uh, per game as far as DraftKings points go. So I like to take a flyer on, uh, on Gallinari. We already talked about Buddy Hill and this Bejalika guy. Yeah, yeah, he's been pretty hot lately, man. If you look at it, he has a positive matchup uh, versus ATL, and he's 39, 40, 54, 30-plus 30 minutes. This guy's pretty much on fire, as we see right here from this little emblem here. He's, he's been on a heater, man. 39-plus points in the last four games played, and he's 6K, 6.2K. I think we need some of this uh, player right here in our lives, guys, okay? 
All right, another player that's going to have to step up with uh, Kevin Love being out is this Seti Osman kid. He's getting 30-plus minutes the last three games. Question is, is he going to have a 17-point game or a 32-point game? But he's at home playing against a Denver team that's playing on a back-to-back. Have to travel. Let's get it. Uh, next up, Robert Covington. All right, I like this guy, 5.4K, but what's great about Rob Robert Covington is that he's a peripherals guy. Rebounds, steals, three balls, you know, assists. You know, he does a little bit of everything. And so at 5K, averaging 30 or plus more points for the last three games played, I don't see why we don't play him, man. Robert Covington. You know, I had him last last game that they played. So um, definitely get you some Robert Covington, man. So that's pretty much it on the uh, small four positions. Uh, oh, my boy Tatum. Oh, hold on, man. Yeah, we got to get us some Tatum. My apologies, guys. Yeah, Jason Tatum, man. You guys know he's playing at home in, in, in Boston against Milwaukee. Giannis Antetokounmpo should be back, and it should be a nice drag down knockout fight all right and i like tatum you know as you guys know man we talked about him when the uh, season first started man i love me some jason tatum you know he's just he just he just everything all right the guy had a crazy summer league and and really really impressed me man i just like that kid all right africa amino he's a value play at small four again he's 4k and if you look at his history versus the new orleans pelicans man he has a pretty good uh, um history versus them so um i like him 4K, he's playing 25 plus minutes. Uh, again, peripherals could be something, and they're at home uh, in Portland. So, definitely like me some Afrique Aminu. Let me know if you guys like any small fours, man. I'm going to be honest. Small four was a tough position for me today outside of Bejalika and, um, and Covington. You know, I kind of flirted with playing Montrez Harrell, but I don't think he's going to do that well today, just to be honest. If you look at his track record versus. Um, Philly doesn't do too well, but you know, he has had a couple of nice games, but I don't know. I can't get to Montrez Harrell, but Anthony Davis at the top of the list, man. If he's playing tomorrow, go ahead and play him, man. He gets a Portland team. Nurkic is not going to stop this guy. So, um, you know, I like Anthony Davis again, look concerned cause he didn't, didn't have an outstanding game today, you know, but you know, it is Anthony Davis, man. You know, he can easily put up 75 DraftKings points versus Portland and nobody would be surprised. So. Definitely somebody you want to have in your player pool. Uh, we already talked about Mirati, Gallinara. We already talked about them. So it looks like all the power fours we've already talked about, guys. Tatum, you know, Afrika Minu. So, yeah, pretty tight um, player pool at the moment. At the center, guys, let's go ahead and go with Joel Embiid. All right, he's at home against L.A. Could put up 65, 75 DraftKings points if he gets it going. You know, Joel Embiid is all about the flash and the show, man. So he's at home, and I like me some Joel Embiid. Um, Jokic on the back-to-back, somebody that we definitely could uh, consider. You know, this guy only plays like 20-something minutes and puts up 45 DraftKings points. So, But my only concern is does, does Cleveland keep up with this team and are they able to even uh, put up a fight? And I, I don't know if that's the case, guys. So take your chances there, but Jokic is definitely in a smash spot. Adams is also in the smash spot versus who, who do they have even starting at the center for for them? Zeller. So I don't know about Zeller stopping uh, Adams, but he definitely has a plus matchup. Steven Adams at 7.3K. Last game he put up 43 DraftKings points, played 37 minutes. I like this Charlotte OKC game to stay close and to be competitive and high scoring. So Steven Adams rebounding and catching lobs from from Westbrook and Paul George. I, I I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. <laughs> okay, did I really just go into that song? <laughs> okay, Alex Lynn, guys, uh, last game, played 26 minutes, put up 43 DraftKings points. If this guy's going to get the minutes, go ahead and play him versus Sacramento. It's a plus matchup. He's the starting center. All righty, again, look at, the, look at the defensive rating for this team. They're garbage when it comes to the big man. So I like some Alex Lynn at 4.9. Just hoping to get the minutes. But again, this is this is my value play at the uh, center position. So uh, let me know who you guys like at the as a value play at the center, man. All righty. And uh, that's pretty much everything as far as uh, my, my players on the slate, guys. So again, man, if you play the lineups that I sent out, guys, I tweeted out a couple of lineups. If you played them, if they help you cast the day, 
please holler at your boy. Let me know. Here go one that has that scored 304. This is the one that scored 350 right here. Alrighty. It says 329, but the game wasn't over yet, as you can see. But this one ended up scoring 350. Alright, I tweeted that one out before the slate started. Alright, that right there is when I was uh, you know, struggling with that whole Dallas man, you know. <sighs> DJ was tripping, man. But he ended up bouncing back and doing okay, man. So, all right. So, good luck on tomorrow's slate, guys. And I'll holler at you guys next time.